Norton's TV. Lee Wraith, everybody. Legend Peter Norton. is back in the house for an yet another video that I have been so excited about for so long, I cannot even tell you. Welcome back, Lee. Hi. Yay. Nice to be How's here. How's it going? Oh, it's going great. How was it going from the last video we did? You're still okay? I'm still all right. You're still all right? Still all right. Still in, enjoying the meat space that we're it's in now. meat space. Not the digital world that we've been living in for the last 18 months. And hence, because it's like Danish, it could be like bacon space. Can it? Uh, that's the it? one. Bacon. <laughs> A little bit more delicious for some people. Yeah, just saying. Danish. Right. But yeah. before we start, please like and subscribe to this video. Check out Lee's uh, Instagram channel and his YouTube channel as well, please. It will be in there. Just check it out. He's a legend. <laughs> um, so, this is exciting. I've been waiting for this forever. I've only seen Tom Quayle teasing us all yes. with one of these guitars he going... Does. You, you stop, stop, stop it. So, and here they are. Tom the Tease. Tom the <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So here they are. Yeah, so these Second are our, you know, these are the AZS or AZS. ACS, AZS? Yeah. AZS. Well, it sort of depends. You call them whatever you like. Yes. They are Dave our sort of Bob. T style yes. guitars. And S stands for single cut. Yes. That's so this is, is a little bit different with you guys. It stands for single cut S. And the other one is an N? The N, which is, is kind of like, the, it's a very traditional kind of old style S guitar. But what does N stand for then? Oh, non, non, non trem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's never been told. No, no one's ever told me. That's what the N stands for. Is that what nobody, told nobody, me. nobody knows. <laughs> nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> what does it stand for? None of your business. None of your business. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are wonderful. I mean, I've been look. I mean, we saw these been having a nude, while ago, and um, I've been having a little sort of heat moments and and uh, sleepless nights over these. Um, well, they're definitely your bag, aren't they? And and the, yeah. there are two iterations. So yeah. you have the uh, the trem version. Yeah. Look at um, the top. Oh yes, hello. So you're used to seeing these kind of trems on the a AZ or AZ. I'll, yeah. I'll just keep saying AZ for now. Yeah, yeah, you people, can people get Everyone it. in the UK can keep correcting me and in the it, comments. Zed! And you go like that in the comments yeah. section. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, in the, then we have the, uh, the fixed bridge. Yeah. And this is a very special saddle that's been designed. Um, I've been very excited about it. Yeah. I believe they've kind of taken what be a traditional saddle and improved it uh, in the way it's been designed. To, to stop you know strings rolling off the edges of the saddles, yeah. the string height, all of that. Uh, and then also it being separated from the plate for the pickup as well. Yes, that, that, that's, that's the interesting design with this, that it, the, the pickup is sitting in one surround, yeah. which is mounted on the body. And then the, the, the saddle is, is another little thing that's kind of sitting down here. Yeah, because reasons. And a string through. <laughs> because of reasons. Because reasons. Because well, so, <laughs> Why? Because. Because reasons. Just because. So if you go, if you flick it back over for oh, me, yes. so you like it, go to flick. Yeah. Um, what they say, and you can sort of hear it when you hear Pete playing it, you, you'll hear it, that it has a, a, a much, twang, much more twangy nature to it with the back plate of the pickup separated from the bridge. Yeah. I, for, and I couldn't tell you why, it just sounds that way, and that's the whole purpose of the design. Yeah, that's really. That's, and that's, you know, all of that stuff. So, so it is a, it's a T-style guitar, but it's got yeah. innovations within itself. And that's, that's what you want in, in these days, where we talked about in the other mm. video, where everything, we're all focused on, oh, there's a new telecast coming out, it's just a different color. We go, oh, my, look at that. It's still the same shape yeah. as it was yeah. 60 years ago. And it's really nice to see improvements you know like you did I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing out uh, and that's fine you know like the like the pos silver sky yeah it's something yeah. that is an, an, an a sort of new sort of iteration of somebody who goes how about we do this and how about we do that and then well it's exciting you know, it's, it's exciting it is exciting yeah. and, even, and even like the, the latest one which is not just a color isn't it color change it's yes but like, people are so yes, excited but it's also i mean i like when when like people like ibanez comes up with with just this little design here you know, or that you've got a little thing there. Well, okay, or so a little you look bit at there. This is called the all access neck joint. Yeah. Anybody that's familiar with the AZ or AZ yeah. will, will know that that's where it's super all access. Yeah. And that's on that. If you look at the Josh Smith signature, yes. you don't get that. He likes the traditional heel on his, on his yeah, uh, neck. I'm, I'm partial to both. I mean, you can get yeah. used to a lot oh, of I'm things. So, you, I, know. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm. You're used to that. I like um, it. So we got. But then I am the AZ, here, I'm an AZ guy. So. Yeah. It's got that sort of. It's the same. It's the, the same, same cutout, if you like. Yeah. Super Which is super cool, you know. Yeah. Um, so on the um, on these 
uh, guitars, iterations with this, the fixed bridge, yeah. are ash body. Yes. We so have two two colours. Two right colours there, there, and then you've got the switching system as well, which you're used to seeing on the AZ range. It's in dynamics. This time it's a dynamics five. Yeah. Um, and we have Seymour Duncan magic touch. I believe, in, in the neck. In the mini humbugger. In the mini which humbugger, Which is an interesting yeah. thing, because why the mini humbugger, you think? Is it just oh, because well, it's just slightly different? Oh, tonal variation. Yeah. I mean, how often do you have that kind of... I mean, that's the weakest part of a telly for me, is that bridge, sorry, the neck position. Is it? Yeah. That's interesting. Because, you know, it's for me, the thing I like about a telly is the bridge. Yeah, yeah. Pickup for, you know, like rock stuff. But if, you, if you're putting a, a you know, humbucker in the neck, all of a sudden you can get those rich... Thick yeah, but this and, and I'm I've, I'm getting into the mini humbug at the moment. We played some. What did we play recently that we did a video on? And there's mini humbuggers in it. And I was like, this is just a. It's almost like a fat single coil. It's like a P90 but fatter. Yeah. But it's not a humbugger. Well, fat and, and the moment the moment you start to use the switching system, which obviously will yes, in very, we'll, we'll, wherever we'll you little, are, we'll have a little sneak find, to find to. the sound that you like, like the most. But it'll be putting things in parallel or yeah. splitting that humbucker. Yeah. Um, so you get such a range of sounds out of a guitar. Yes, it's, it's very it's awesome. traditional looking. Yeah. So, so you've you got a roasted maple neck on here. Roasted maple neck. The, got... These, because these are the Japanese, you just look on the back. It's prestige. Yeah. It's made in Japan. Prestige. This is you can get premium guitars, which is like Pete's Seafoam yes. Green AZ here. Yeah. Which is a premium guitar. Yeah. That's got a roasted maple neck. Yeah. Now the difference between these two necks is that these are the prestige versions and they have called what is called S-Tech technology which is oh. basically still roasted maple yeah but what they do is add nitrogen into the mix and then bake it at a very specific temperature oh and then that knocks even more moisture out out of the neck okay and what it tends to do inadvertently is give it a darker color so darker roast we can we say. could be walking around nam you yeah. know and look at them all and i can go they're all premiums, they're prestige, just by the darkness of them. Really? Certainly the first wave of those guitars, yeah. Because it's such a different, you know, when you see roasted ma maple necks, it, the variation of colours from, from going light to dark to... Yeah. There's a lot of different... But they all darken off, you know. so even your premium has started to darken off. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. My, my AZ prototype is really dark now. On the yeah. Back. So, Strange, isn't it? Japanese-made guitars, yeah. the, these particular ones. What we've got is a uh, stainless steel frets, just yeah. like on the... Um, AZ range. Yeah. Uh, Lumen lay, side dot inlays. Yeah. We have titanium saddles. On, oh, titanium saddles. On, on, on the trem version. On the trem version, yeah. I'm not sure what they are. I think they might be stainless steel. Yeah. On the block of that. I mean, I'm not sure what that is, because I know that sometimes it's, they will uh, colour in, say, brass or something, you know. Yeah, make it so I know they're color. not, they, I don't think they're brass. It's not brass, no. But, brass. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sorry. a brass. brass. <laughs> uh, we've got a bone nut. Yeah. You've got the Goto locking tuners, and yeah. these have got the height adjustable poles as well. Yeah. So, so you so you, you so lock you... them off there, and then you can put the very small thin Allen key. Oh, in so the back. then you can you can take them up and down. That's so, right. Ah, so you that's can, very clever. It's the relief across the the, the nut. I like that. Which everybody yeah. needs in their yeah. life. Oh man, we need that sometimes, <laughs> especially uh, on, a, on a Saturday or Friday evening. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely, that's what we all need. So and then adjustment, truss, truss wall adjustment up here. Yeah. More, cl more as, traditional. As you would expect it to be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, compared to the guitars we were looking at earlier. Yes. In different places. Because really. yeah. they didn't have anywhere to put anything up here. No, exactly. Because <laughs> there isn't there. It's the Phantom. It's the Phantom. Um, uh, and very traditional here, and I, so this this whole thing is is also. Did I am I correct in saying this was something to do with Josh Smith? He was doing his signature. Which well, if you want to watch yeah. that video, we had him on to do a Captain, Captain Meat, so he could the, he talk the about it there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think his his was somewhere. So why designed... wouldn't you listen to somebody like Josh, who exactly. who, who is okay. you know Mr. Telecaster? Mr. Telecaster knows a lot about them, played yeah. them, um, brought that expertise to these guitars. Yeah. You know, and then you see them kind of trickling into other signatures. So Larry Basilio's signature yeah. is an iteration of one of these yeah. uh, What's... single cuts, which yeah. I can't wait. We, I have not, I've not tried one yet. It's super you, cool with the single. You will be the first person I bring that down to, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Because I, I, I love that the, the design that she's gone with a, a Telecaster pickup. Yeah, and, and then and a, they're and then like her, a strat and her set. Yeah. Her set, and yeah. the same with Josh. Yeah. So these, these are, you, you know, I say standard set from Seymour, Seymour Duncan. Yeah. They sound great. A nicely balanced across the across the, the selector, which is very important. That's what you need, isn't it? Yeah. Same set of pickups in in the 
tram version, but obviously yeah. you've got a tram and not and not the the fixed bridge. And have you got? So and these are older body. That, so that older body and this and is ash. The, yeah. So on the yeah. fixed it's ash and yeah. these are older. I mean, I love this. This is so traditional. I, I love the the color of this. I mean, this is a great color, but I think my I would prefer this one. It's just a bit more. Yeah, it's I a, think it's we a need traditional to, burst. Yeah, isn't we need it? to go back to a little bit of traditional burst again. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, Chocolate burst. Having said that, I do really like this flame, is, flame maple good. top. Yeah. And, and this uh, particular one, is a, as a result of the top, is a little bit more expensive. Yeah. But, you know, so if, these if are you're into it, then... 1,900 quid for these here. It's around that kind of price, isn't yeah. it? and they're a little bit more. These are a little bit more yeah. for the trem version. Again, links below. We'll get that. But should we hear what it sounds like? Well, just one more. If you're interested yeah, in playing on. them, should be in the UK in around mid-August time. Okay, and let's see how the whole th thing is. So please call the shop or check the website for, yeah. for come visit details. Who knows? Who knows? Who be. knows? So quickly before I play, what's the uh, what's the radius on it's this? It's twelve. Twelve. Okay, so fairly traditional one of the guitars, a traditional yeah. guitar. Yeah. This from from for my, you know, the way I play, I can't really notice the difference between my AZ or AZ yeah. and this. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, no, it just it's, feels comfortable. That's but. It, Am I right in saying that Ibanez necks or Ibanez or Ibanez, uh, they're quite a little, slightly bit wider here? Well, these just... have been designed that way. That's, yeah. the, that's the beauty of these, um, the AZ guitars. Yeah. They, you know, it's to allow you to, to play, I'm turn off a distortion here. That's what all that noise was. That was a hiss. To get your to thumb get over the, the top yeah, and yeah. feel like you're actually holding a, you know, a guitar neck and not a piece of paper. You know, there's, there is a, that's the difference between those two, two things. A guitar neck if you and a piece of paper. If you go and grab a piece of paper <laughs> and then go and grab a guitar neck, you'll find there'll be a difference a, between there is those a two difference. things. Yeah. Maybe not much, but there's definitely a bit. It depends how much you've been drinking. <laughs> yeah. um, but, but what happens is, on, on the AZs, it's a subtle thing, but you can feel it. They become flatter towards the 12th fret. Yes. Um, and that allows it to, to, to still be able to yeah, they, I like, do I like the fancy one. stuff yeah. at the dusty end if you want to. I love the headstock. That was when I saw that on the, you know, when, when the ASF first came out. Mm. It just reminds me of Back to the Future. Yeah, and, you and, said and that, to, I remember. I said yeah, that. It was yeah, like, yeah. But it was slightly different because it had a slightly different, that was the, um, oh, what was that model? Was it the old Roadster? Yeah, yeah. Be be yeah, before they became the RG. Yeah, exactly. And I, that, this kind of just, it's got that thing just, going on. The whole thing about it, I mean, to speak, going back to you know, the, the AZ stuff, really, yeah. is that none of us, when we were asked about it, wanted to play pointy guitar. I mean, I love RGs, but yeah. playing pointy guitars um, with a floating tram trying to play country music or, yeah, or yeah. traditional blues, it just, even if you can, you can coax those sounds out of it, yeah. obviously, but you just, it just didn't look right. When you were playing on stage, so it's like, you know, you need that aesthetic, you need the mojo of your instrument. And that is, you know, what people say, you know, that I completely agree with that. That when that's why I like to play a beaten up guitar. Yeah. Because I play it differently than I would do, say, my Paul's guitar, which is just so speaking. But you know, yeah. I'm, I'm, it's almost like you, you approach it in a very different way. In, totally. In live, live, you know, if it is in a studio, then it doesn't matter because yeah. then it's kind of what you, what hammer do you need out of the toolbox yeah. to, to do that job you know but when you're playing live there's something about not caring and just going for it yeah and not totally thinking right. about oh, i'm going to scratch it with my belt buckle or something you know um can i just point out how lovely these knobs feel to turn oh the, the slight resistance just you like that don't you oh, so I, I i prefer something where you can go a, like a little yeah it's a, you know this for me it's probably a little bit stiff but i would you know i'd this, soon, soon wear them down yeah but this is just when you you, you can really get into a... They just sit when you go like that and they sit one place and if it's not in case you go down there and then knock a little bit and go where's my tongue go yeah you know? well it's important on a guitar like this isn't it yeah. because we're it's all about tone yes it's all about tone and feel yeah and on the josh signature i mean he's yeah. talked about having a very specific potentiometer and capacitor put in and, and all that yeah, sort of yeah, stuff yeah. because it's important yeah you know but he's the kind of guy who is going to be listening to that difference in that battery in his pedals. Oh, that's, you know, that's, yeah, that's the... <laughs> you're that either the, that guy or you're not. 
and so well yeah Oh, you just yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. So anyway, so let's see. So this is the mini hamburger here yep. in the neck. And that's just a that sounds great, doesn't it? So you can do that if you want. A little bit more force. <laughs> Lovely sustain. <laughs> and it's just different enough from a Telecaster to go, I want one of those too. <laughs> well, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's why, got, why wouldn't you want that lovely, rich neck pick? And it, and it look, I mean, I love that it looks different. Yeah. That's so important because otherwise, why would I just use it? You know. Hey, but why would you own more than one Telecaster? Why would you? And, and because? Because. Just because. <laughs> so, you know, it's the same logic, isn't it? The yeah, there logic. is no logic and, and, and you can, you'll never understand. No. People never understand it. Once you're hooked to these things. Uh, so. Let's roll it back a bit. Yeah, okay, so, and you've got the little switch here in the middle. Yeah, so um, this is working the same way as I was saying about the AZ. This is called a Dynamics. Five, yeah. because fewer positions. Away switch. from you. Away from you is off. Yeah. And what you on. So, away from you is, I would assume, I mean, again, check the link below, but I'm sure these two together then? Those two together, and then yeah. all the way back, bridge. Okay. So there you go, that's like a... For me, that's take a string off, tune it to an open tuning, and play Rolling Stones. Yes. That's that sound for me, that yeah, jangly. Yeah. It's got that thing, you know. But it's also got that, so if you add a little bit of a uh, gain from the D. Just a touch, lovely. Uh, and then the back is just the it's just the just back that, yeah. Just nice and zingy, isn't zingy, it? quacky zingy. thing, yeah. Zingy and then if I do that, do that, you go back to your neck. That's still just a neck. Just nothing. There, but then if when I'm, you're in the middle and back positions, yeah, that's when you're starting to get into this kind of series and parallel and mixtures of the two, yeah. So here's, yeah, how much here's, warmer that is, exactly. So here's the with the just with that off, almost bringing in the I'm probably wrong here, but it <laughs> sounds like you bring in the inner coil of the yes, because you can split that as well. That's well, cool that's what's thing happening about that. there, yeah. The cool thing about a mini hamburger is you can still split it. Oh yeah, yeah. You know. It just looks small. It just looks cooler. <laughs> so this is the middle position of... So what's happening here? You're just you're adding it in. Yeah, you bring it yeah. in. I think it might be the full humbucker and then part of the bridge. Yeah. And that's if I... I mean, that's a lovely sound. Yeah.
much more traditional. A bit of gain. Classic blues legs. Middle position, everything off. Still uh, luminate, illuminated dots. Bridge, everything off. That's good, isn't it? And then, oh, on. Off, middle position. <laughs> That's almost stratty. And then, on. Type kit thing. It's Sorry, it's a bit of you. This is. I just like it. I, yeah. You know, and, and and I like it because it's slightly different. It's different. You know, it's not a Telecaster. No. And what would the point be? No, because they would have called it an AZ, yeah. AZT if that was the case. You know. <laughs> yeah. It's a single cut AZ with, with some traditional points, but also, you know, some modern stuff as well. Yeah. I mean, I knew it was going to be good because because they because they are good, but this is great. I really like this. Need I a think purple it looks one, great. Need yeah. a one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have enough purple guitars in here. <laughs> but yeah, you, you're right. I mean, it looks cool. I like the scratch plate. Good design on it. Um, anyway, could you play us that with the wiggle, yeah, so wiggle, wiggle bar? What, you've, the, the, what you're hearing difference wise here is obviously you've got a different, different block because we've got a trem. Different wood. Different, different wood as well. Yeah. Uh, Still got that, um, that twanginess. Oh, I will, and that was so. I'll do what you're oh, wait, doing. Wait, wait. I'll go from um, neck down to bridge oh, with so the. Uh, didn't dynamics. hold. Off. Sorry. D yeah, so yeah. That, that yeah. Was, he's got a different. That's traditional down here. This one is. Uh, and these are the angled ones like the AZs. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So that's your neck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go to middle position. This is all with the, the dynamics off. And then obviously bridge. And then if we engage it, Again, we're just going through it again. So that's the neck. Yeah. You've heard that already. Yeah. Um, middle position should be warmer, as we were just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. And then the bridge again should be warm. And then I put a bit of uh, chill scream right in front of the tubes. Yeah. I'll pick up a pick. Pick. Pick, pick up a pick. Pick, pick. And this is um, obviously a very noisy uh, amp with the tube screamer <laughs> yeah, whacking in front of it. Name this song. We 
just call it a, um, a copyright strike. Oh, that's God. how we call all, yeah. the, all those songs. <laughs> uh, it's nothing to. It's by a band called King, I think, is it? It's a band called yeah, Copyright yeah. Strike with the song Copyright Strike. One mission: <laughs> fried chicken. <laughs> Uh, middle position. And then neck, which you've heard already. And then if we split them, it doesn't do anything to the neck. Middle position now yeah. sounds like this. And I then, would keep it at that. <laughs> I really and I have it. Just saying about the Older trem trem. system, yeah. so that's it's flush to the body. And you've got five springs in here, five as far as I can see. Yeah. They are wrapped in these little sort of, so that you don't get the ping. You get the ping. I like yeah. that. You don't get the ping if it ain't even a thing. Um, and it's they're pretty, pretty, really, pretty sturdy. Yeah, yeah. And, and you don't get that rubble. That sort of you're not going to be able to get the gargle thing. <laughs> you don't that. need that on these it's guitars. Not the, it's not the point of them, is it? This is you want to be able to get that kind of Jeff Beck vibe. Yes. from something like this, yes. which, you know, is that whole kind of... That's what I mean with the whole, with the, with also with the, the knobs being so, it's, it's so, what do you call it, precision tool. You know what I mean? You set something there; it's not going to move. No, and by, I think by just exact it, and the same with the with the arm is. It's very sort of. You're not going to be. You're done, not going to be playing the shadows on it because you haven't <laughs> got that kind of. You've got a little bit of travel upwards, but not much. Yes. But um, who needs that anyway? It's nice when it sits on the body. You probably got a little. Bit. The, uh, the, this one, they said end. So you get that instead if you want to do the. Oh, you're going to get the gargle from yeah. that. I mean, it's not exactly. far off being being able to do what a floor exactly. Can do, really. Exactly. He's a great man. And yeah. so, and we expect them. Did we say that? When mid, we August, expect, mid, mid August. Mid August. Yeah. And about 1,900 quid. Yeah. About two uh, grand. And a little bit more for having about yeah. two and a half for the for the quilted top. Oh, that much. Yeah. Oh, so right. In around that kind of price. Okay, but not range. this one with the with the solid collar here, right? No. Okay. Look at that. Lovely. Comes with a case. Comes with a lot of stuff. Prestige, so you yeah. get a nice hard case, the prestige hard case. Yeah. You get the, the lovely prestige fret edge treatment, which is fret very, edge. very, very soft on the fingers. Say, say fret edge quickly. Yeah. <laughs> fret <laughs> edge. <laughs> anyway, I, re I really like them. I can't wait to uh, to see them out there, do some music, you know, make some music out I think, the world. You know, I think you're getting them played in, and when you finally find what works for you and your amp and your setup. Yeah. You know, it'll be interesting to see one sat here in the studio and you're using it from time to time. Absolutely. We we'll love one another. That I mean, it's such gonna a, kind of fit for you, isn't it? It's such a tool. This is what I keep saying. It's nice I'm to have these, these well, aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> aren't we all? And on that note, guys, thank you very much, Lee, for coming in. Welcome. Uh, it was a Great pleasure and it was delicious to have you because we haven't seen each other for ages. Oh. And we can finally start getting, you know, with the vaccines and all that stuff, we, we can start doing all I've this stuff I've just missed again. having a jam with another human Jamming being. people. You know, it's one thing you create backing track, and it's it's amazing, and, and you yeah. know, played to your backing tracks, such a fantastic. But just having that interaction yeah. is just so it's, good. It's such so a good. Thing. <laughs> anyway, let's jam out. Let's play some more guitar. See you later, everybody. Please like, subscribe, Cheerio. subscribe to Lee as well, Instagram, YouTube channel, all that good stuff. Because <laughs> you don't want to miss what he does. <laughs> like that. <laughs> See you later. Cheerio. Bye. <laughs>